Hey guys, what's going on? It's Josh Malone Reaper here. Um, I just got home from work and all day I've been wanting to make this video, so let's get started. Now, if you're like me, you're a fan of watching a popular YouTube named Taylor Nicole, Nicole Dean. Taylor Nicole Dean. If you've watched her channel, then somehow you've clicked on mine because you have searched Longhorn Cowfish Cheese. Cheese is her pet. It's like her number one fish of her channel. It is basically, as she referred to it, it's the god of her channel. I really hope that doesn't offend anyone. That's what she refers to it. And honestly, it's kind of funny because Cheese is kind of an awesome fish. Now, if you're like me, you saw that and you said instantly, oh, I want a longhorn cowfish. So what did you do? You went out and bought a longhorn cowfish without doing all sorts of research on it. Good job. Let's get back to the point of this video. I'm gonna give you, I'm not really gonna try to persuade you whether or not to buy a longhorn cowfish. That is up for you to decide if you wanna give them the care that these fish ultimately need, but I'm gonna give you seven facts about the longhorn cowfish. Now, you can use these facts to judge whether or not you can actually give them the kind of environment that they need to survive, but that's ultimately up for you to decide. But I just want people to be aware of the cowfish and the type of treatment that they need in order to survive in the home aquarium. Fact number one, longhorn cowfish are natives of Indonesia, Australia, and basically the other side of the world that the US is not on. And they prefer water temperatures of 77 to 78 degrees and that's basically where they're from, and they are a breed of box fish. I'm kind of doing more facts in this number one than I intended to, but anyways. Number two, cowfish can grow up to 20 inches long. Now, now, you say, okay, well, when you get them, they're like this big. They are a cute little blob of cheese. But you know what, like Taylor and Coldine says, this little blob of cheese is gonna become a cube of cheese. I mean, it is what it is. These guys get ginormous. And personally, if you look online, the recommended home aquarium size is at least 250 gallons. I am gonna be showing you my longhorn cowfish that I bought impulsively, and his name is Swiss. Yes, I named my cheese Swiss. I named my cowfish Swiss after cheese. So yes, cowfish get big and they need a big aquarium. So eventually I'm gonna have to upgrade, but I'm gonna worry about that when I get there. I know a lot of people say they have good intentions of upgrading their tank when the fish gets too big, but let's be real, it's not cheap to upgrade. Fact number three, cowfish skin is poisonous. Now, in the tank, chances of it emitting this poison are slim to none, from my experience at least. Um, in order for them to release this poison, they have to be threatened and when they're threatened, it can basically wipe out the whole tank. So if you go online looking about facts of longhorn cowfish, some people refer to them as a nuke fish. Why? Because they nuke your tank and kill everything in it. I have a pen in my hand, it has a smiley face. Yeah, they can kill your tank. And sometimes when threatened, this poison is so toxic, it'll even kill themselves. So that's just something to be aware about when getting a cowfish that you're basically rolling the dice and you may kill everything in your tank and that's not cheap. Fact number four, it's kind of a simple one if you ever looked at a cowfish, they have little horns. Now these horns will grow back if they fall off. I have not purposely broken my own cowfish's horns off just to see them grow back, but they will grow back. And the reason they have this is because they use them for protection. I mean. They're a little cube of cheese. They swim around like this. They're a little block. I mean, they ain't got a whole lot going on to protect them. They have poison and horns, and in the wild, that's what they need to avoid predators from eating them. I mean, I'm not gonna eat something that's gonna kill me, and I'm not gonna eat something that's gonna stab my roof or my mouth when I bite down on it. So, that's what it's there for. Fact number five. I don't know if this is really a fact or not, but cowfish like to spit water at you. I've been trying to get it on camera, but it's such a rare occurrence. From my experience, when I neglect the tank for a day and don't give him seaweed, and don't do that, when I go to put seaweed, he'll come up to the top of the tank and start shooting little darts of water outside his mouth. Because, I don't know why, people say online it's for attention. 
I just think it's cute when you watch them shoot some water at you. Just make sure you're not in your work clothes and get a bunch of salt all over your shirt because it's dirty and yeah, catfish, not catfish, cowfish can shoot little streams of water at you. So fact number six, cowfish like to eat invertebrates. What does that mean? If you have a cleanup crew in your tank, they're gonna eat it. I have had several hermit crabs and snails that I have watched little Swissy just start picking at and eat them. And he eats of them and then he'll look at you and he gives you this grin and it basically says, what are you gonna do about it? Because he enjoys some good hermit crab. And what does that mean? He also eats shrimp. So you know those cute little cleaner shrimp? Um, you see him in Finding Nemo. He's the little guy that cleans Nemo. Anyways, but if you ever look at them, he will eat the shrimp. And now I know those guys aren't cheap. I know in the United States, they usually cost around 30 bucks for a little cleaner shrimp. So that's an expensive shrimp for one little fish. Number seven. Another fun fact, um, at night, have you ever seen like a nasotang or any other fish that changes color when night comes? Cowfish will actually change to a really dark color. Essentially, when it goes dark, it's kind of like a defense mechanism. Their skin will get darker, so they are not predators aren't able to see them at night. And it's just something cool to notice. So if you do end up getting a cowfish after watching this video, knowing that they get like 20 inches big and they could potentially nuke your tank, just be aware, it is normal. He'll have little brown spots on him when you wake up in the morning. During the day, he'll be bright yellow. And then at night, he gets like this dark brown color. Only seven facts, I'm gonna add an eighth one in there. And that is because I just want you to know, like Tangs, this cowfish is an ick magnet. I, every time I introduce anything into this tank, if it has a speck of a little ick on the fish, my cowfish will get ick. And not just like one or two, I mean it is covered in ick. And Cowfish are scaleless, which I should have been one of the facts I mentioned. They actually have like a skin instead of scales. They are very susceptible to damage from cupramine, which is typically a remedy for treating the parasite ick in reef aquariums. So, all right guys, well, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna leave you with some footage of my Swiss, the cowfish. Yes, I named my longhorn cowfish Swiss, like Swiss cheese. You're welcome. Anyways, well, you have a great day and thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and keep on reefing.